What's good, y'all? It's No Mercy. Um, follow me on Twitter at No Mercy Harlem. Check out my website, NoMercyTV.com. Y'all can see all the videos I directed, all the blogs from other stuff that I'm doing. Um, came real quick to speak on that Summer Madness 3 card. You know what I mean? I seen it just drop, so give my opinion on a couple of the battles and we're just gonna go from there. All right. First battle I got here, Big T versus Owen. I think that battle's gonna be tough. Um, Big T, he came off a, you know, crazy hiatus. He battled k Sean. You know, I feel like he won that. So, I feel like he was kind of using that. It's kind of like a warm-up battle. You feel what I'm saying? It's good to finally see him on a Summer Madness card. You know, he been, his, his, his style is just so crazy. Like, as far as bars go, I feel like for him to go against Old Red, that's gonna be like perfect competition. You know what I mean? Old Red, he just been on the streak. Just 3 0 in top 10 niggas lately. And with the way his bars are, I feel like him and Big T, that's a perfect matchup right there. Now, I feel like that could possibly go either way. So, that that's gonna be a great battle. You know what I mean? I don't see nobody getting bodied. I see that being 2 1 either way. All right, um, next one is Calico versus T-Rex. Um, coming off the Low Deluxe battle, you know, being that everyone hasn't seen his battle against Daylight, you know, most people are still, as far as Calico goes, they're still stuck on a Low Deluxe battle. So I feel like he's coming in here with something to prove, you know, and for him to be battling Rex, I, I think that that's going to be a good test to see if he, you know, capable of recovering, you know, because Rex, you know, Rex go with that just crazy ball after ball, just giving niggas straight, raw, lyrical shit, you know what I mean? So, that battle, hmm, if I had to call that, I definitely see Calico getting at least a round. I see it possibly being debatable. I see Calico getting around, I see Rex getting around, and I see one round being like evenly matched. You feel what I'm saying? So I see that as possibly going 2 1 either way. Um, next battle I got here Arsenal versus K Sean. Um, anyone who knows me knows I'm not a big fan of Arsenal. It's just because I feel like when Arsenal comes in URL and he battles a, a street rapper, he doesn't do too well. You feel what I'm saying? And that's because I think he's so used to battling all the, you know, the people on Grind Time and King of the Dot that his style caters to that crowd. So when he comes to battle with real, you know, street rapper who's spitting real street shit, it's like the content just doesn't match up. You know, a lot of people say he's not believable. You know, they say he has corny lines, you know, like the Squidward's clarinet shit. So, I honestly feel like k is gonna, I think, I know k is gonna get the clear win. You know, it's either gonna be 2-1 or it's gonna be 3-zip. Arsenal might possibly get around if he just has one just amazing round, like the first round he had against Charlie Clips. I, f I feel like he, if he has a round on that level, he can get a round against K-Shine. But I honestly feel like K-Shine is going to win that battle clearly. You feel what I'm saying? So, that's my take on that. Um, JC versus John John the Dumb. I got that as being an instant classic. You know, JC, he's been on the road, you know, taking battles with other leagues. And he's been a little more consistent. You know what I mean? Um, John John, he's consistent, but I feel like he hasn't been as consistent as JC's been lately. But I still feel like he's good to the point where he's gonna come and put on a show. You know, both of them came from the PGs together, and for them to be meeting up basically at the top and clashing on Summer Madness 3, which is one of the biggest stages in battle rap, I feel like that's gonna be perfect. You feel what I'm saying? So I, I count on that being a great one. Um, 
I see it possibly being even all three rounds. Like, I, I see that being one of those back and forth, back and forth type battles. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that. I think that's going to be a classic. Um, Tay Rock versus Ill Will. Hmm. That, that's kind of a hard one to call. You know what I mean? Um, because Tay Rock, Tay Rock has the experience. You feel what I'm saying? Like, he has the experience with battling, you know, different levels of competition. He's battled lower tier dudes. He's battled mid tier. He's battled top tier. So I feel like he, just off the experience side, he gonna get probably two of the rounds. You feel what I'm saying? But Ill Will is just his style, like his his aggression and you know, he's not a person that chokes. Like I feel like he's gonna take this battle real seriously. And he's another one that kind of caters to the crowd. So he knows what the crowd is gonna want to hear. So I could see that being a great back and forth both ways. You know, I kind of feel like Ill Will is gonna try to overpower Tay Rock, you know, as far as you being aggressive. And Tay Rock, he's just gonna have to come with that, you know, how he do and just fight back, you know what I mean? So, for both of them, I feel like it's gonna be, they both gonna come in knowing they got a fight on their hands, you feel what I'm saying? So, score-wise, Score-wise, I can't see a clear 3-0 from either side. I can see 2-1 either way. I can't really see somebody getting body out this battle, but I think it's going to be a great one. All right. Daylight versus Swave 7. It's kind of a weird matchup. Just knowing, you know, both of their styles, but I feel like it's going to be different. It's going to be a different type of battle. But at the same time, you know, Swave with that aggression, that nigga 3 0s everybody. You feel what I'm saying? But I can't see him clearly 3 0 in daylight. You know what I mean? Just because I feel like Swave, as far as having the whole package, he's missing, I would say, the, the, how can I say? Basically the swag, you know, how certain people, they have the bars, they have the aggression, but they just don't have that, that swag that kind of carries everything and makes everything a little bit smoother. You know what I mean? That's the only thing I feel like Swave is missing, but I feel like Daylight, he's gonna have a lot of stuff that in the building is gonna just fly over people's heads. You know what I mean? And in the building, people might say Swave is gonna win that. You feel what I'm saying? So, on camera, I think the battle is gonna be better on camera than it will be in the building. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I got Swave winning in the building, but when it get back on camera, I can see Daylight possibly taking it. You feel what I'm saying? It all depends on how Daylight approaches the battle, so I think that's gonna be a great battle. Um, pretty much 2-1 either way. You know, um, in the last battle I got here, Math Hoffa versus Sirius Jones. Um, that's gonna be a great battle. It's good to see them come from the um, Fight Club, and you know I don't think the Fight Club footage ever got released. So for them to actually do a full three-round battle on a big stage is gonna be a good look. Um, honestly, I feel like Math is gonna take it, but after how Sirius Jones did against Charlie Clips, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, Sirius Jones, you know, pulls out a miracle and happens to actually win the battle and get two of those rounds. Um, the only thing I say about Math is that that time when he did like those, I think he did like four or five battles in like a week or two weeks, his bars were there, but was, what was fucking up his performance was the fact that he kept stumbling. You feel what I'm saying? Like the stumbling kind of took it away from him. So it kind of made some of his battles look like losses instead of wins. You know me, I, I go by bars. You feel what I'm saying? Um, of course, you got to have everything else with it. But when it comes to those bars, you, you can't really, you know, deny that. 
You feel what I'm saying? So I'm hoping Mav come and, you know, just have a smooth, clean performance and he could possibly 2-1 Sirius Jones. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm not putting it past Sirius Jones to, you know, to win. I, I think he could pull it off. You feel what I'm saying? So that's my Summer Madness 3 predictions. You know, I know I'm doing this kind of quick. You know, y'all know how I do, man. As soon as I hear about a card, prediction blog right away. You feel me? Like, that's just how I do. So I'll see y'all later. Peace.